some of the other challenges uh, that uh, um, we need to discuss. Um, these are all major surgery. Um, the aortic valve pathology itself, um, it is important. We always have mentioned to the patients. Um, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, however you may uh, look at it, um, patients need to follow a healthy lifestyle. Um, majority of these patients uh, are created very uh, delicately. They have delicate connective tissue. Um, they um, active lifestyle, um, avoiding smoking, um, trying to manage their diabetes, uh, um, calorie intake, uh, what have you, has a um, uh, enhanced um, immune system effect on them. Um, the uh, oral hygiene, dental hygiene, all will have a uh, long-term effect to uh, try to prevent their uh, late complication of endocarditis, whether they had surgery or not. Um, this is a serious condition that uh, can affect their uh, uh, aortic valve, in some cases their mitral valve, and uh, in post-surgery they can uh, affect their uh, prosthesis or bioprosthesis in a very, very rare cases that I can't recall anything for past uh, 20 years. Uh, we had seen uh, even a, an aortic uh, dacron being involved in uh, infection. Um, early um, uh, presentation of infection is generally are the usual garden variety of uh, complications after surgery. Patient can simply uh, develop the bacteremia, uh, develop fever, or high and white cell count, uh, or they might not just look uh, as good for a few days. They need to be watched carefully, proactively managed, treated. Uh, they can have a uh, surgical site infection, whether it's superficial, which is in, in our experience uh, probably uh, uh, almost all uh, are uh, superficial and they can be treated with conventional uh, antibiotics and local wound care. Um, uh, and for past 15 years, the uh, incidence of uh, deep sternal wound infection requires sternectomy has been uh, essentially eliminated. Um, uh, although this highly varies uh, from center to center depending on their uh, um, uh, practice. Um, Postoperative uh, pneumonia is still as prevalent um, and also uh, more or less can be easily managed. Of course, the more uh, uh, diabetic immune compromised, the less active patients who stay on ventilator for longer than usual. They have a higher incidence of uh, pneumonia. Um, a bloodstream a catheter or line infection um, also happens more in more morbid uh, patients. And as long as these patients are washed carefully, proactively treated, uh, these all can be managed uh, uh, pretty successfully. Uh, this is a, uh, an example of a, a bicuspid valve patient, a relatively active uh, a male um, that presented with uh, malaise, fever, and positive uh, blood culture, and uh, his uh, uh, aortic uh, uh, valve on a transesophageal echocardiogram. Here you can see a, a shadow of a large uh, vegetation underneath his aortic valve. This is his aorta, and you really don't appreciate a, an aneurysm uh, because this is uh, 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 an echo. An echo uh, does not show the transverse uh, cut of the uh, aorta well enough in most instances uh, to to measure in a systolic diameter and very. Um, frequently it underestimates the size of the aneurysm. Uh, however, it's a terrific test for the function of aortic valve, uh, heart function, uh, other valves, as well as uh, visualization of vegetations. Um, this is uh, uh, the surgical 
a specimen of the aortic valve. You can see it is a bicuspid valve. There are calcium deposits, a remnant of uh, infection here, as well as uh, fibrinous uh, suspicious material uh, uh, and potentially infected a corner of this valve and also a large vegetation that we saw on the transesophageal echocardiogram here. Uh, you can see this is how it looks. Um, this was uh, both uh, um, sent for bacteriology examination. Patient was kept on antibiotics. Although um, um, many times when patient comes in uh, uh, with sepsis, um, aortic valve and the carditis, uh, one has to kind of decide at that time, do we um, really want to do a big surgery and resect a sending aorta at the same time so this patient doesn't have to come back for the second operation. Uh, sometimes you wonder a big operation in a septic patient, uh, would the patient be able to tolerate that uh, easily? I think in this particular patient, um, we um, decided the best uh, is to resect his uh, ascending aneurysm at the same time. You can see this is his aorta uh, that was resected and fortunately he uh, um, was discharged from the hospital. After just about uh, um, uh, roughly around four days or so uh, with the uh, PICC line in IV antibiotics to follow as an outpatient at the comfort of his home uh, for uh, roughly six to eight weeks.